There we go. Hold on. All right. So a little bit has happened. Let me get that video file if I can. Um, can you just show videos in, in OBS? Uh, got a tiny little video here. Is it this one or this one? Shit, let me see which one it is. Anyway, I did some grinding. Oh, no. Here we go. How do I show this on the thing? Why is it so big? VLC is such a weird media player. So I have three monitors and VLC, whenever I open a video, uh, sometimes it just decides to make my, my thing like three monitors wide. Can I just... Oh, that's awesome! It doesn't... Anyway, I just thought I would show an update here. Um, hey, have you seen my weathercock? Oh, she's one of them girls, huh? It was on top of my roof. It was blown away in the strong wind last night. I suppose it came here, but let me please know if you find it. So, basically what happens here is... Uh, hold on. I think I might actually not find it right in the video. Do I? No. Let me fast forward this. Okay, never mind. I should just... Let me just... Put this to go away. I never had to do this before on a stream, but let's just show you this video here. There we go. So, what happens is once your love ranking breaches, like, this stream was meant to be unlisted, it still brings my phone. And still wasn't on. It wasn't supposed to be unlisted. I don't think you can even do that. But no, Muxybot is just a few seconds or a few minutes behind. But, um, so yeah, what happens is that once you reach like four or five hearts, I think it is, um, you reach, uh, this little event happens and with your, with the character that you're trying to date. And so with this one, where did I? So with this one, uh, the, the weather vane finds its way into your chicken coop because it thinks it's a chicken. It's having an existential crisis. And, um, yeah, you just pick it up and you give it to him. I'm not hanging on my memory, to my memory, but it's so precious for me. It's oddly, she's very sentimental for this weather vane. And then you get a kiss. How nice the young people are! Yes, I want her to be cheerful all the time. Sure. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for that entirely sincere sure. Sure, you can be happy, kids. Yeah, whatever. And then it forces you to go to bed, which is so weird. A lot of major events in this game just force you to go to bed. Uh, I don't... whatever. Alright, back to the main game. How do you do, fellow kids? But yeah, so... I played a little bit, and we expanded our house, which is cool. Um, I went and did both expansions. They cost, um, the first one cost 5,000, the second one cost 10,000. Um, since I got my corn happening, it uh, is very easy. It was very easy to buy all that crap. And I got some cows, too. I started naming the cows after chat. So, a couple of you have cows. It's finished! Look at this! The super deluxe great log house! Yes. These guys really know how to brand. Hashtag brand. Yes, I I, the, I did get the, oh my god, you don't have enough materials. We had to have 500 materials too. <laughs> Even if I do fall in love with it, see you. They really like houses to an inappropriate degree. They enjoy houses. But yeah, finally, the corn is growing. Gentlemen, behold, corn. And so I, I get like, uh, just over 10,000 G every like three days worth of harvesting. So I went and bought some cows Let me show you the cows. Do I have my brush? So a quirk of this game in that it like, you know, it only half enforces any of its rules um, You don't have to feed calves This is Sun This is X bone and This is BP So you have to you do have to brush them 
and um, talk to them every day to make them happy. You don't have to feed calves though. They're fine. They, they never get sick or sad or anything. You only have to feed the mature cows. Pop? What's pop? What, what are we popping? You gotta remember, this is delay, so I don't really... Oh, that coin really makes your farm pop. Oh no. Oh, you're banned. Somebody ban PP. Can you even ban a mod? Don't actually ban him, but... Uh, but yeah, I, I've mostly just been selling my corn. That's why I figured I would just play this. This is the... It's a bit of a grind, but it's it's relaxing, you know? Uh, but I didn't... I wasn't sure if I wanted to show it on screen, but I finally got... Oh, right. Even more importantly, I got the sprinkler. Unfortunately, I still have to go to the hot springs. I have so much freaking corn that I have to go to the hot springs and take a break in between watering. Um, but that won't be an issue for much longer because we're almost out of summer, actually. And there's no f crops in all of autumn. So autumn is just basically preparing your farm for animals. And in winter, you either have animals or it's a complete waste of a month. Which I think as a kid, I actually once did totally waste the month and... Muxybot. Muxybot, you piece of freaking garbage. It did not post. Why didn't it post? Hold on. I have to yell at Muxybot. Did my Twitter thing post? Hmm. Weird. Muxybot sucks. I, I, did, I didn't disconnect it, did I? No. I don't know why it's so hard for there to be, like, all I want is a Twitch chat bot that checks once per minute, ideally, and more importantly, post the game that I'm streaming or my stream title or something, literally anything of value, instead of just saying, hey, somebody's streaming and not, like, saying, because, like, not everybody is going to be interested in every stream, so, like, and the Twitch API exposes, like, what game you're playing, the title, I mean, it could just check your URL. Like, well, please, just, how, how is there no, there's gotta be some Discord bot that actually properly announces Twitch streams, right? It's like, if all it's gonna do is dump a link in the Discord, I may as well do that myself. Just a tiny frame drop. So yeah, summer is pretty much done. Summer is your major money earning month. I've gotten, I've what? I've upgraded my house twice, so that's like 15K. I bought three cows, which is another 15K. How much do I have left? I have about 4,000, so. By the end of this month, we'll have made, what? Maybe 40,000 G just from corn, which is not bad at all. And I sold my chickens. So the way cows work is that you gotta, um, every animal costs, like, it requires you to have two bags of seed planted per animal. And cows and chickens count towards the same thing, so, like, if you have lots of chickens, it, you basically can't get cows, which sucks. So I just sold all of my chickens. And I also really found a extremely easy way to soft lock the game, or actually hard lock, because the input doesn't work. Uh, I'll show you that once I can. It's the weekend, so I can't do that right now. But... It, it's amazing. You can clone humans. Human cloning happens. It's beautiful. And then it kills the game. Because cloning is apparently... It just... It's ethics circuits refuse. Hey, Gabe. Unfortunately, we still have to water even though it's raining. But uh, the sprinkler makes it so much less awful. Also, I figured... I, plan, I planned just the right amount of corn. And I don't mean plan in, like, a deliberate way, but... Accidentally purchased exactly enough corn to um to uh what am I trying to say here? Just enough corn that I can sell all of my corn in two days. So I basically sell it in in batches. Um, I was kind of worried that I was gonna take three days, which would be unpleasant. Um, also the reason a bunch of crops and crap are missing is because in summer you get hurricanes, which destroy everything. Um, our doggo is fine. Dogs are actually immune to hurricanes. Do not try this at home. He's a trained professional dog. Oh, and we're ready to get married, by the way. I should have mentioned that earlier. I did 
the courtship stuff is actually way faster than I thought it was. Um, so I should be able to go ahead and buy. The reason I'm save scumming is to prevent. All right. I don't want another hurricane. One is plenty. Hey, son. Yeah, one. Oh, you, you missed it, but you have a cow, son. Um, I have three cows now, and I named one after you. BP is also a cow. Oh, you gotta eat. You gotta eat lunch fast if you're a farmer. Farmers speed run their lunches. But yeah, since and actually has like eight hearts. I can buy the blue feather of happiness. Um, but yeah, the trick to getting buried in this game. Um, definitely for real, accurate to real life. All you have to do is go into a building where your lover is, you talk to them. Ideally, you answer a question. Questions are worth more. But you just talk to them, you leave the building, you immediately go back in so game time doesn't advance any more than, like, a few frames. And then you just talk to them again, and you answer their question again, and it counts again. So you just gotta talk to them a lot. Presents help a bit, but... Really, the best way is to just exploit them being inside, or even if they're outside, but as long as you can get them to ask you a question. You just make them repeat the question, go inside, go back, etc. Um, I'm not sure if I can propose to her right now. I'm gonna make sure I finish my daily chores first. But I'm gonna be married in the first frickin' summer, if this goes right, which is the earliest I've ever been married in this game, I think. Possibly not with uh, Eve, because Eve is pretty easy to get married to. Oh, wait, hold on. I have so much corn to sell. I'm going to sell my corn and get married tomorrow, I guess. I'll also show you the soft lock tomorrow. We'll celebrate our marriage by getting soft locked. Actually, I was wondering this. Is it considered a hard lock or a soft lock? If the game doesn't exactly crash, per se, but it's not accepting inputs, that's a hard lock, right? As you can see, I, I'll just barely have enough time to sell all this corn. Also, I screwed up my selling of corn, or my watering, so one patch does not actually grow on the day it's supposed to. I wonder when the earliest you could possibly get married this in this game. It, it, it's honestly probably like the second week, if you could have enough money and... Oh wait, no, because you'd have to... You do also have to upgrade your house, which I did, which is why I have multiple beds. I actually really like the... The second upgrade isn't really... Or the first upgrade isn't too big of a deal, but I really like the second upgrade. It feels very cozy, and I like that it has two rooms. This is my first game where you had, like, your own house and you could upgrade your house. It felt very cozy, and I really enjoyed the, the stuff you could do to expand your farm and your house in uh, 64 as well. I think the PlayStation 1... Say back to nature. Uh, it has even more stuff to customize your house. So I should I should try that one again someday. That was a really enjoyable one. Excuse me. I don't know why the music is so like left biased. It's leftist music. It's it's all half of the instruments are my left ear. Is that like a sound chip? Is that an SNES sound chip thing, or is it just? How it happened. Oh crap. As you can see, since I went to go buy the feather, I actually ran out of time to, uh, to sell my corn. I'm gonna get out of here, corn. In later games, of course, you could just shove all of the corn in your bag, but it's not an option now. I'm gonna save scum just so I don't, like, get a hurricane, like, when I'm trying to get married. Very hard to get married in a hurricane. You have to hold the ring really tight. Alright, so should we get married first or hardlock the game first? I'm gonna hardlock the game first. Alright, so this is way easier than you would probably think. And there's actually a couple ways to do this. So, all you really have to wait, hold on. Can I actually execute this? Yes, I have 11,000, okay. So, hardlocking this game is ridiculously easy. Is it Monday? Yes, okay. It's Monday, so we're gonna we're gonna hard lock to avoid the Monday. We're we're Garfield. What's up, buddy? All right, her the bird's name is Peachan, by the way. Important lore. So all we gotta do first, we want to buy a cow, but we also want to sell a chicken. All right, 
So he's gonna come to our farm, he's gonna buy, buy a chicken and give us a cow. Not a problem, right? Simple stuff. I mean, this is probably unrelated to the hard lock, right? This is just basic stuff. Couch DLC. Unfortunately, couch, we're too poor for couches. Oh, also, we can tell what time it is. Um, you get a clock with the first expansion as long as you get it before the end of the first summer. I just noticed I don't even play the, an the moving animation. Hey, put the cow in the pen. Take care. All right, the first thing is to name it with affection. Bye. Oh, wait. Maybe this doesn't work if... Hmm. Maybe it's a race condition thing and I have to do one of them first. Aw, oh, it didn't happen! Let's, let's try that again real quick. Hmm. I think you have to sell the chicken first. Trust me, it'll be worth it if I can get it to happen. And just in case this is a required element, let me actually put out the chicken for sale. Maybe he just doesn't appear if you don't put the chicken. I don't know. But trust me, it'll be good. I, I took a picture of what happens just in case it doesn't happen, but... Oh, yeah, Muxybot never posted the stream. What's... Also, Twitch keeps saying I'm offline. I think the Twitch thing is just shitty as hell. Is Muxybot not in chat anymore? Well, Muxybot, what is your deal? I'll just disconnect it and reconnect it. Alright. Wouldn't, wouldn't that make Monday forever? In a way, but Monday is less bad if nothing happens ever, I guess. Right, we'll sell the chicken first and buy the cow. We'll see if that fixes it. And by fixes, I mean breaks it. But this would be really good. Shit, it's working now. Okay, there must be some weird race condition that makes it happen. Um, anyway, what what happened? I actually got a video of it. Is this the video? Here we go. Let me play the video. Oh, I've never used videos. I didn't even know you could do that. So the, if the chicken one comes first, he, he, he's cloned, and the other one just, you can't move. I'm trying to move at this point, and it doesn't, you just die. It's beautiful. The clone realizes that he should not exist, and the universe just collapses. It's great. Anyway. Lock out, lock back in. I don't, I don't think that was it. Whatever. You saw what happens for the most part. The only thing you missed is him walking in on his own clone and just not responding at all. He's just like, oh, there's my clone. Uh, you gonna sell this chicken here or what? Oh, oops. All right, we're gonna go get married now, I guess. Married on a Monday. That's depressing. Look at a, such a lovely porch. We even have a little seat there. And I guess I should do all of my stuff first. I pissed off my chicken. If you don't feed a chicken, I forgot to feed it somehow. And they get ticked for three days. It's just it's just what they do. Let's feed them. My feed is still going up. You can save a lot of freaking feed if you do the cow exploit. Oh, damn, I don't have a brush. Excuse. There's your son. There's your cow son. And there's BP. This person on game. Oh, so it's like an intermittent thing? Eh. Yeah, there's probably some reason it didn't work, but whatever. 
I got a video of it, so that's what's important. Fargo! Isn't working. Wait, really? Wait, what's going what is going on with my stream today? Muxybot doesn't. Hold on, how do I even bring up channel video? Oh, also, I'm streaming at a lower bit rate than I should be. Fix that. It looks fine on my thing. How does Harvest Moon not have um, a box thing? Hmm. I might not have time to water all this crap. I'm just gonna go get married, I guess. I can sacrifice a small, very small portion of my money for love. Not a big one though. Also, this shape with those with the seven plants. That's actually if you want to do a bare minimum of watering, that's kind of better. But it will also mean uh, slightly less money. If that works now. Weird. Twitch is weird and buggy. I don't know. It just happens. All right. Let's use the marriage item. So you, the blue feather for some reason is how you marry people. And I think you can, t can continue to flirt with other characters. I think you just can't get married to them. I don't know if flirting reduces the happiness of your wife, though. But, um... Aw, oh, shit. Please still marry me. I gotta get in. Okay. I think we can get married now. Wait, what is this? It's the special paint for the house only. <laughs> it's the special paint for the house only. It's 1,500 D, but do you want to buy it? Y yeah. I can't get married with an unpainted house. I'll look like a loser forever. I, I may as well buy this as well. But yeah, Anne. Trust me. Marry me. Why is she not marrying me? What? It sounds good, but now I can't. On sunny Saturdays, I'll be waiting for you in front of the shop. So please come before it gets dark. Oh, shit. We have to get married on Saturday. Uh, that means I have to get into uh, autumn. Whatever. Do you have any re reaction? I wonder if our daughter Anne can get married living like that. I I literally just proposed to her, but whatever. He's not. Her dad isn't so. He's a little bit slow on the uptake. Found the diary. So we got we got eight hearts, which I think is enough to get the second kid. So we're just gonna be popping out babies like a machine gun here. I think babies take a full month to happen or something. So, you know, a month is a season, so it kind of makes sense. Uh -oh. yeah, I forgot you have to get married on a Saturday. That's a bummer. I guess I should buy some more grass while I'm at it. So in autumn, you just kind of want to get as much, save up as much grass as you can. Buy as many cows as you can. Actually, I should buy a cow. If I can. I'm not sure I can. How many power berries have you eaten? Do you remember how many breads you have eaten? I've, only, I've still only eaten five. Ah, oh, damn it, we can't buy a cow. Uh oh. I should have bought the cow as I was leaving. Oh well. Eventually we'll fill up on cows. I'm not sure if I want to have a completely full set of cows, because cows kind of take a lot of time, but... I want to I want to fill, fulfill every single ending condition that I can. That's my goal, I guess. I guess I gotta do this now. Oh, I'm dead. Th that's the infuriating. Oh, right. Oops. The infuriating thing about this is I I have just. I need just a bit more stamina, and I would be able to do all of the stuff. All right, so I have to make sure. I don't think you can tell how many happiness points. Yeah, I have no idea how many happiness points I have, but I haven't really done unhappiness things, so I don't... 
I don't, that's the one aspect of the endings that I'm not really 100% sure I'm gonna make sure. Oh. You can't throw seeds! I'm so tired I can't throw some seeds. Damn it, Jack. Or Pete, or whatever his name is. Wait for Saturday morning, throw a ring at wife. If the ring budges three times, it's a catch and you can sign a nickname. Exactly. You humans get married, but for me, it's just more efficient to have someone shove their hand up my backside. Alright, we gotta do. We gotta be a nudist in the spa for a little bit. Oh, it's also surprisingly quick to gather enough materials, even without the golden axe. The golden axe is nearly useless because if you're really keeping up on things, you will have it before um paint 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 is that it okay um yeah you you'll have all of the logs that you need before uh, i think you get it in autumn i think all right it's for the house only I guess it doesn't work on any of the other things. I like how he spills, like, a full gallon of paint every time he rushes. What a, what an amazing man. Wait, so you can paint your house different colors. I think it's only this white paint, which looks pink in the darkness. I think, I think that's all of the more painting you can do. I, I think that, I guess that probably affects happiness, right? I don't know. We're getting pretty full on tools, too. This is probably the best, which is not a surprise, but probably the best I've ever done in Harvest Moon game. Well, the, in this in this Harvest Moon. Because I usually get married, like, the second year. The, yeah, the second year. I have been married the first year, but I think that was with Eve, which I previously thought was easiest to do. Uh, turns out is not. Oh, also, I'd like to remind everyone, we're streaming Mega Man Sprite Game tonight in uh two and a half hours i'll probably just go for another like half hour i just want to get into autumn show well i just wanted to get married but i thought that's apparently gonna take a little bit longer than i was expecting so how's everybody's weekend going it's been pretty calm here which is an extreme relief because the last several weeks it's just been always it's always been something but uh things have been quiet which is very nice right now So I think I don't remember how long calves take to grow, but it's gonna be a few weeks, I think. Once they get a bit bigger, you can milk them. All right, chicken, chicken! Why, why you no know eggs? Give eggs! I will throttle you. I don't know what that chicken's problem is. I've been feeding it. It's been more than three days, I think. I don't know. It just hates me forever. Oh yeah, surprisingly good news at Destructoid. They, they're they taking their writing somewhat seriously now, I guess, and they fired Bad Takes McGee. Jed Whitaker, who always just, he reviewed games that he knew he would hate, and just wrote reviews just making them just out to just be awful, and basically just a garbage writer. And everyone hated him, like... If you search his name on Google or on Twitter, it's just I've never I haven't seen a single person not celebrating um, Bad Takes McGee being fired. I don't know how true it is either, but he alleges that he was like basically not paid the entire time, which I kind of find it extremely doubtful that he just you know wrote Bad Takes for zero pay for like a full year. It seems I mean he he is an idiot, but I'm not sure he's that much of an idiot. Bad takes. should be the nickname for all the people with bad takes. There's a lot of people with bad takes, though. Like I was saying on Twitter earlier, like, 2017 is, like, a competition for everyone is trying to find the absolute worst take. They they just want to find the worst take and the worst hill to die on. And they keep doing it. They keep finding new depths of 
just human sewage to drown in, and I don't... I, I just don't know. Let's get a cow. So it's important to stock up on cows while we while we have the corn. Like I said earlier, the corn gives you a crap ton of money if you manage it right. And this is really your first time that you can feasibly buy a cow. And if you can't get some cows before autumn start, uh, the start of autumn, it's a bit of a problem because you won't have too much to do. You can still find mushrooms in the uh, forest. By all of the crap. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Somebody in the Kotaku article on the whole shit face situation was like, wow, DMCA is the greatest thing ever. It's the best solution to all copyright problems. I don't think I've literally everyone, anyone ever say that DMCA is completely free of faults. Like, I've seen people say that like, oh, it's the best of a bad situation and so on, but this was somebody completely 100% in support of the uh, Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Um, okay. Who... Hmm. Who is this cow? Who wants to be a cow? I think our active chatters already have cows. Wait, who else is watching? How do I even tell who's watching? I don't know how to twitch. I'm sorry. Watching now. I just see... Is there a list of chatters somewhere? Viewer list. <laughs> Moobot. That actually makes complete sense. Aw, oh, but how do I fit Moobot? The problem is there's only four characters. And I have some... Alright, who's in the Discord? I'll name this one Sick. I just told Sick that he's a father. This is Stardew Valley, right? No, how dare you. Now this is, I don't, I assume that's, that's you memeing, but in case you're serious, this is Harvest Moon. This is basically the, ca the game that Harvest, that Stardew Valley set out to be, but for PC. Sick is a proud father of his cow. Weird. We didn't run out of- Oh, right! I probably- the lunch you eat actually does increase your stamina a little bit. So, it, um... If you get some work done before lunch, you kind of recover it. It's not a huge deal, but, uh, just something to keep in mind. I think some fallouts. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. No matter what I stream, there's always somebody who it's their first time seeing it. I always figured, like, that would just be because I play, like, lots of, you know, indie games people haven't seen before, but... Somebody hadn't heard of Horizon Zero Dawn, and it's like... I was like one of the biggest AAA releases of the year, so... If somebody hadn't heard of that... Something's always new to somebody. Uh, do I need to do anything else today? Alright, I can, I need to brush the new cow. The new cow needs brushies. Do real cows get brushies? I thought brushies was more for, like, cats and so so on. Yes, sick. Good girl. Someone tell sick in Discord that he's a good girl. You reminded me that Nuclear Takes is a real Twitter account. Oh, yeah, Nuclear Takes. That's, that's a really good follow on Twitter if you want to get mad. I actually had to unfollow it because it was too good at its job and it kept producing the worst takes. It, like, finds other people's worst takes. It's not, like, a serious account that just has bad opinions. But it just collects the hottest, spiciest takes. I don't really need to save scum here, but... I'm just in the habit of it because of hurricanes. You can also kind of save scum to, uh, to try to get rain. But rain is no longer a huge deal. Because, um... Yeah, it's a white, white house. Hey, Ramak. Did I tell you I'm getting, a, I'm getting a Switch? If you have time, some, uh, time that you should check it out. I should have it Monday. 
I'm not sure I'll have any, like, games that I can play on Monday, because I think my games... I bought the games from Best Buy because of Gamers Club Unlocked, and I bought the thing itself from Amazon. So I'm not sure I'll have games yet. But, uh, I'll find something for co local co-op and stuff. I'm curious to find out how well those controllers work for local co-op. I'm skeptical, but... All right, and Snipper Clips. I definitely need somebody to play Snipper Clips with. Have you played Harvest Moon, Ramak? Also, you came in like five minutes too late to get a cow. Like, I'll get more cows. So you can probably get a cow, but uh, I think you can get 12 in this game, actually. What is wrong with this chicken? It's been three days. It's been a lot of days. What is this chicken's problem? I hate this chicken. It's supposed- <laughs> Oh, you haven't played? Yeah, it's- I guess it's kind of a cult classic, but... I don't know, I was always huge on Harvest Moon up until- The PlayStation 2 games, the first one, I was like, eh, I don't know about this one. I played a couple months in it. Yeah, unfortunately there's only four letters. This is my first game where I was like, whoa, 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 why is it so short? And it turns out because it's Japanese, and also, well, probably not too much because of, you know, storage limits, in just some degree. But... Yeah, Harvest Moon was one of my favorite games on SNES and 64. Harvest Moon 64 possibly was my favorite game on N64, along with uh, Ocarina of Time, I guess. But, uh, love that game. In fact, I might stream it next for next chill thing, I don't know. I'm, I'll probably take a break but, and go back. I should finish LSD as well. I believe the SNES Final Fantasy has more character than the Harvest Moon. The name actually comes from a WoW, a WoW character as a Tauren. Oh, rest in peace, Korn. You, you'll be a very fitting cow then. Back to your roots. I actually don't think I ever asked the source of the name before. It's news to me. This game has... I think this probably has the worst character limits I've found in a game, though. Usually you'll get five or six on an SNES game. This has four. Which, I guess for a Japanese name, is, like, just enough. Which, but even seems... Well, I don't know. I guess most Senator Kagura characters fit in four. But the funny thing is you don't even get the Japanese alphabet, at least in the English version. Some SNES games would still keep in the original Japanese alphabet. So in autumn and winter, we'll actually ha our days will actually be a lot shorter. This game is kind of front-loaded in terms of how long days take. So like early on, you need to do a lot of farming stuff in the daytime. Um, in autumn, you really- it's mostly about your animals, and in winter, it's almost entirely about your animals, because you can't really do too much. Lovely text box noise. I think Final Fantasy 1 NES might also have a 4 character limit. I'm not 100 sure. How many more days left? Okay, just two days in summer. Good. I'm tired of watering, honestly. With the sprinkler, it's really not too bad, but I, 20 days of this month you have to use the watering can, which is enough to make you want to never use the manual watering ever again. I would say if you never played Harvest Moon, um, the problem is getting a copy, so the, the, none of them are on PC. Um, Harvest Moon 64, I would say, is the best one. It's on Wii and Wii U Virtual Console. At least I think it's on Wii U Virtual Console. Wii U Virtual Console is so weird and crappy. Um, I really hope they fix that for the Switch, but it doesn't seem like they're going to because they want to do the NES Classic style thing instead. So nobody gets, like, you know, instead of everybody getting access to the games and it being a little bit late, nobody has access to the games. Great, great business model, Nintendo. Sigh. Alright, Wednesday. 
Also, he has little commentaries on like what hour of the day it is. Thursday, 30th of summer. We finally get some new music tomorrow. Going to have a good day today. I'm not sure how much the SNES uh, version of Harvest Moon is. It wasn't like super popular, but I don't, and I don't think it was super rare, but I'm not sure. Like this one, this game's a little bit simple, but it's kind of nice how simple it is in a way. Okay, you're finally making eggs again, you, you, you freaking eggy jerk. I think I have, I have enough money at this point. I think I can start growing more chickens. I'll get like six cows, I think, and then we should be good for the first year. Yeah, we can buy a cow now. Um, oh crap, we have to harvest this though. I might have to wait until autumn to buy the cows because, uh... Which is annoying because you can only buy one animal per day because he wants, I don't know, he wants you to be responsible, which is stupid. Um... So I might have to waste today because the corn is very valuable, and I only have two more days left to harvest it. And you're lucky that you didn't sell or trade away your SNES, by the way, where my- I sold- or I gave away mine for free before- because this was before retro games really had too much value to them. And I was in college and I was like, ah, I'm emulated, it's good enough, blah, and then... Immediately after graduating, I get my own place, I have plenty of room to store games, like, they didn't even take that much space! Like, I could have even had them in my dorm room if I really wanted to. Like, it, I don't have, like, a massive, like, multi-room collection. You know, it would just fit in a box. Don't, don't, don't let your kids, if you have kids, don't let your kids, like, toss their toys. Unless they're, like, super short. At least nothing like a video game. Like, if it's, like, you know, Dentist Barbie, maybe. I don't know. Has anybody regretted throwing away their Barbies and their, like, you know, action gym figures? SNES and Dreamcast? I forget if I have my Dreamcast. I think my Dreamcast might have been spared. I forget. I, st I bought a new uh, N64, so I could get real Harvest Moon 64. Um, yeah, I got that so I could play Hey You Pikachu, Turok, and Doom 64 and stuff. Oh, I can buy a, a cow, maybe. My rush. There's some really weird Dreamcast games. So I got my Dreamcast, and I didn't... Like, I was one of those N Nintendo only almost kids, and until I had my PlayStation, like I never really looked at non-Nintendo games. So unless it was like super popular like Sonic, I never knew what to get for my Dreamcast or anything. I felt kind of bad because like it felt like my Dreamcast went to waste because uh, I never really used it too much beyond the Sonic games. Right, we should have, I think we bought pretty much all that we can buy for now. I'm mildly disappointed the name is the cow is named x Bomf. I wasn't thinking of that. That would make it even harder to tell what it is though. way to do this. I guess Ramek. Keep the first vowel, I guess. But you're back to being a cow. Back to the basics. Alright. Wait. Do... So I don't understand exactly how crops dying works in this. I think my crops will actually grow tomorrow, but they will wither after tomorrow. It's it's weird. First day. Okay. So in two more days, I can get married. I remember telling my parents that I got married because I got married in this game. They laughed. I was like, hey, rude. Oh no, don't run out of stamina. All right, 
Alright, if I run out of stamina, I'm not gonna bother. Going to, okay. Just break. Okay, is there any grass ready to cut? I have no idea which grass is ready to cut. It's only, it's so hard to tell at night. It all looks the same. Walk to shop, pick up thing, raise above your head, agree to pay, thing vanishes. Free one day Amazon Prime delivery, yes. This is the first, actually the first instance of drone deliveries. They just drone deliver it right to your thing. We've got a pretty full shack of tools now. That's cool. This game's pretty limited on seeds. In most games, there is, in fact, stuff to grow. Oh no! Crap. And in later games, you can keep items that will restore your stamina and stuff too. You can keep food and stuff in your rucksack. Probably the single most important upgrade of N64 version is the rucksack. Uh, what was I saying? I forget. Yeah, 64 is my favorite, but I still got a lot of like, I don't know, this game is just super charming and I, I think it's just exactly, it's kind of that perfect minimum viable product. It's just good enough and just simple enough and it's really enjoyable for its simplicity. And I really love the, uh, the pixel art means a lot to me. I just, especially in rainy days, this game in rainy days just is like the perfect zen feeling. All right, hey doggo. I can't believe you have to hug the dog a hundred times and that, that is somehow an ending condition. What, what a ridiculous game. I'm just gonna, I just wanna make absolutely sure. I'm pretty sure I have hugged doggo over a hundred times at this point, but just want to be sure. I also have to hope that it doesn't like iterate over and like, you know, underflow. But some games will do that, hold on. I need to save scum so I can make sure it's not a rainy day. Thursday. All right, cool. So we married on the first day of autumn. I think I've married in autumn before in this game. Oh, here we go. Autumn time. It's burning. Confirm the origin of fire. Oh, we have two confirm the origin of fires now. Everything is all right. First of all, also there's no major events in fall or in, um, what am I trying to say here? Um, there's no like, there's no festival in summer. See you, Alex. Stop in tonight if you can, because that Mega Man Sprite game looks amazing. And I mean that, like, ev aw. Yep, every, all the plants are kill. Um, but that's fine. Also, we get some nice little f leaves from somewhere that fall on our thing. need the sprinkler anymore. Do need to cut grass though. Yeah, Mega Man sprite game looks amazing. So anybody watching you gotta watch that and that's in that'll be coming up in about two hours. I think I can cut this right. No, no not yet. So autumn is pretty much all about stocking up on grass um, and raising your animals really. So you need to prepare for winter. And if you don't have a lot of grass for winter, it can be really bad because trying to feed your animals purely by um, the store-bought stuff gets really tedious. But the game kind of tries to prevent you from being able to even do that. Wait, if your eyes don't turn to half circles, you didn't properly cut them. I love the little sleepy bubble when you, uh, when they take a nap. I've never had this many cows this early. None of them produce milk yet, unfortunately, but soon, maybe? I don't know. I see if there's anything new in the shops, too. I don't really have a great deal of stuff to do in the autumn. It's kind of nice. In the autumn and winter, you, you can do a lot less. 
Oh, also... The, uh, the mountain is very changed, and, uh, there's mushrooms. Mushroom! Eat. Looks a little dangerous. Yeah, don't eat those ones. The spotted ones are poison. Howdy, why don't you have a juice party at home sometimes? What? You can gather logs and loot you too. What's up there? No, this is pretty good. It tastes good and sells at a high price. Thanks, thanks for your opinion. Mushroom! He's so excited for the mushroom. Have, have a mushroom, my friend. What? Do you give it to me? <laughs> Localization is so good. Have you seen the rare berry that grows at the top of the mountain? That's a hint for the, um... We'll be planting a berry, the power tree berry, uh, in winter, actually. I like the leaves everywhere. So what happens if you poison? I think you just get... I think you just lose happiness points. You just kind of stumble around as if you're drunk. I don't think you get actually sick in this game. In later games, you can get sick, and you can't do anything all day. Though your girlfriend can take care of you in later games. That's kind of sweet. I think you can only get s Wait, what? Oh crap, you can't buy more grass seed. I thought you could buy grass seed. Welcome. You like sweets such as full cakes and... Berries of full moon plant. I like that one. I forget if berry of full moon plant is a thing that's like actually in this game. What's up, Nina? Autumn to winter is an off-season because there's nothing to sell. Oh crap, I did not realize that you couldn't buy grass seed in autumn. Because it still grows, I just, I guess you just can't plant it. Hmm, well that sucks. Let's see if there's anything new to buy in the uh, tool shop. a little different from the plan I had, but no big deal. Oh, also she exploded our face. She made a pudding machine. And, uh, it just explodes your face. She's very good at making things that explode your face. She's not the best at making things that don't explode your face, but she tries. Howdy, young boys, what's up? Um, never talk to me again? I need an adult. Are you an adult, ma'am? The new stuff you can buy is absolutely nothing. Yes, it is, apparently. It's not easy to work steadily, but it's worthwhile. In later games, you can get buy stuff like eggplants to grow in uh, fall. Alright, let's go to the bar. Last, last day before we get married, so it's bar time. What's up, Maria? I love the- I somehow love the autumn scenery. Excuse me, do you love kids? Ugh. What's with all this kid stuff? I love kids too. My dream is to live with a lot of kids around me. Okay. I'm not gonna interpret that. Why don't adults cry? Is it... Is it because there is nothing to cry about? Or is it because people become stronger? Don't give me an existential crisis, little boy. Hello, old man. You can be calm inside the church. Not people come here, you know. It's crowded on holidays, though. So, yeah, if you wanted to date Maria, this would be a good time, because you just talk to her a lot and answer your question. Hey, Eve. What's going on? <laughs> Grand Dash Pa is so strict. Literally, no one says it like that, but whatever. Alright, let's go to the bar. And suddenly she's in the bar. I don't like to be alone. Sometimes we go to the mountains together some berries. Good talk. Good talk. I wonder if mom will be really mad at you. Are you talking about little kids again? Oh, so great. She's out. I can relax as much as I want. Yeah. Hey, shit, man. Oh, yes. Put props in the shipping box so I can collect them. I just can't help myself worrying about Anne. So much. Mr. Tap! I forgot I named myself with a heart. Mr. Tap. You are one of the some, same generation as Anne. What do you think of her? Oh, sorry. Maybe I'm a little confused. I literally proposed to her like four days ago. 
I guess you don't remember. If you put some shipping goods in the box at night, they won't last until the morning. So, so wasteful. Alright, this is shipping guy. Wait, which one of these is shipping guy? I thought this was shipping guy. I guess there are multiple shipping guys. Found the diary! Yes. Alright, so we got two... We have two hearts for her. I, I don't know if you can make a special events. Every dateable character has a special event you can make happen. Um, so, I don't know if you can make the character's events happen if you're already married, but it's actually so easy to get love points, and I didn't know that, so I'm gonna try, probably off screen, but I'll try to see if I can get everyone's events to happen. Some of their, them are kinda cute slash heartwarming. I think you saved Grandpa in one of them. Um, you already saw the uh, weather vane one. Mm, nothing to do but go to sleep. Oh wait, it's not raining tomorrow, right? I forgot to check that. Oh crap. No rain, no rain, no rain. Yes! Okay, we're gonna get married. Marriage time. And I'll probably end the stream once we get married. Almost exactly an hour. Couldn't have planned that better myself. If only it worked that way in real life. Yeah, you just go into a location with the person you want to date. You talk to them, you leave, you go back in, you talk to them. That would be very simple, but uh, I'm told it's a bit more complicated than that. But what do people that aren't me know? Yeah, definitely check out in. Oh, G give me something to eat. Uh, mushrooms. So yeah, this is an event that happens. I think he gives us. He gives us one of the golden tools. I think it's the hoe, which is the second best one, but we don't really need right now. So you just need to give him a food of any kind, I think. I usually give him mushrooms. I'm not sure if it has to be a mushroom. I think you can be a dick and give him a poison mushroom and he won't give you the thing, but I'll be nice. Phew, I'm, al I'm alive now. He was dead a few minutes ago, but he's fine now. Thank you very much. I didn't eat anything for three days. I need to give you something. Take a look in the shed tomorrow. This <laughs> jumps down the well. Rest in peace. Um. There we go. What was I gonna say? Yeah, but we'll get the golden hoe tomorrow, I think. Uh, golden axe is an allegory of that story, you know, where the, the farmer or whatever puts his axe in the thing. And... He has a pure and honest heart, so he gets something. So can harvest. <laughs> I must go, my people need me. Here's Doggo. Huh? Alright. I gotta go operate with the cows. Excuse me. Cows can be a little bit unruly. They like to roam around and stuff. They're very cute though. I love the, the Harvest Moon cows. They're probably the most iconic thing of the series other than like the logo itself. I got the Harvest Moon plush cow um, from A New Beginning. That's actually why I got my 3DS was just because I wanted to get that game for the cow, but I didn't want to buy a game I literally could not play. So, I'll still get married. I think. I should still have plenty of time. Because we have a lot more time to screw around now. Because we, uh... Don't have to, uh, deal with the crops. And I don't think there's any actual reason to chop up the crops. Like, we can use the sickle and take them down. But, um... I think they'll completely wither away in, uh, winter anyway. Now that we have all of our stuff done... I forgot about the Saturday thing. My uncle liked you. Please make friends with him. Okay. Alright, Anne. Let's do this. Let's do our best, shall we? Let's do our best at getting freaking married, because that's what's happening. Yep. Excuse me. Mary, please. Are you sure? Me? Yes. And then suddenly marriage. Just instant. 
Nice bell in my left ear right now. Aw. Kids throwing potpourri or sparkles or whatever. Got some birds. <laughs> what an ominous noise to get married to. Saturday, second of fall. We got married today. And now we are married. And it's not very different. Good morning, darling. Be happy together from now on. She's so cute. She's not really used to the whole marriage thing early on. Also, she she has to tie her bow, her hair in a bow now instead of a ponytail for some reason. The reason I like Anne is she's kind of the only one who still does anything once they get married. Uh, the other ones are kind of depressing. Also, you can see that we painted a little bit of the top of that chair. That's how good of a painter we are. Um, the Anne will continue to work on her mysterious machine because she's the best. But everyone else just kind of gives up on doing anything, and it's depressing. Also, your wife can get mad at you if you- I'm not exactly sure how it happens, but your wife still has happiness points. Um, I'm not sure exactly what causes it to happen in most cases, but um, your wife will get mad and like leave to their house. And so, obviously, you, just like in real life, if you have a marital dispute, you just go and talk to them one time, and then they will be happy with you immediately again, and um, you will never have a marital dispute ever again. It's just like real life. It's great. So, us being married in this game doesn't actually mean a whole heck of a lot. Uh, it does mean the ending changes, which is the important thing. We will eventually have tiny babs at home. So I guess we'll cut these. Ugh, my poor ugly fields. That that all got uglified because of the hurricane, by the way. I didn't like deliberately do that the way it went. I guess this still isn't ready to grow. Yeah, grass continues to grow even though you can't plant grass. It's dumb. I think you can actually plant grass if you hoard the seed, which I should have done. Does this music sound more like an RPG than a farm? I don't know. It just sounds like happy town music to me. At, the, at this game, this was pretty revolutionary at the time, I think. Because there wasn't really... I don't think there was any other kind of, like, farm games at this point. I have, like, nothing to do now. I guess I may as well start growing my chickens again. Yeah, in autumn and winter, you, your days are pretty short, because you just tend to your animals, cut the grass if you want. You can grab the mushrooms and stuff. I think poisoned ones actually sell better than the normal ones. But, um, unless you're really short on cash, like, I, I probably won't really bother, honestly. In fact, what day is it? Sunday. See if there's anything going on in town. Yeah, I'll probably bow out for a couple hours here. Oh, you missed the marriage? Oh, no. Oh, well. It'll be on YouTube. Um, I wish Twitch had that um, DVR feature that YouTube does. But yeah, th this guy sells... I think he only ever sells that feather. You can sell items to him. Let me show you that real quick. It's the only way to get money at the same day. Well, if you sell animals, too. But you can sell stuff to him, and you get money same day. I think it might be too late. I might just barely be able to sell it to him. Funny thing is, even though this is possibly the first game that signs more polished and higher than one for it. Huh, was that game that bad? Which one was that? I don't remember all of the names. It's a poisonous mushroom. It can be a medicine when it's compounded well. How about 300 G for it? Yeah, so that's the lore of why they sell for a bit more. Because they make medicine somehow. Right, let's go to church. The first one, the GameCube. Wait, was that the one I didn't like? There was a PS2 era one that I didn't like. I forget if it was PlayStation 2 or GameCube. Oh, it was definitely that game then, because it was definitely one of those two. I hope my dad stays healthy at all times. 
She likes her dad, even though her dad is a terrible alcoholic. Good for her. Hope business will be better. It will be better. What? It isn't the god of business? Oh well. <laughs> Don't hang around. Listen to the priest. It's for you. This church is dedicated to the god of crops. I suggest you pray faithfully. Alright, I'm not sure I'm not sure if you guys actually got to see Anne, but she's the best because she's sitting in this pew, like in the far pew. And she's like, it's kinda of boring, isn't it? And then she falls asleep. She's just the best. I believe God exists. You believe it, don't you? May everyone give kindness to everyone else. So in this game, it really seems like it's a Catholic church. And it seems to have been the intent. But in later games, it's just the harvest goddess. And she actually does exist in the games. She doesn't seem to exist. There is a... F Wait, there is, like, a spirit in this game. So I shouldn't say that, but... Um, I think Wonderful Life is one where the Harvest Goddess actually appears to you, and um, she says, "Hold on, I want to, I want to crush religious girls' dreams here real quick." Um, she actually comes to you and she says, "You have to fix this farm in like whatever many days, or like everyone's doomed or something." I don't think it's exactly that. No, then why are you here? Go to pray. It's not whether God exists or not. It's more of a belief that counts, I think. Okay. Yeah, we never need to go to church again. That's where most people are on Sundays. A few people are walking about the town like, Mr. Alcoholic here. I'm not routine to take a walk on Sundays, so it's okay with me. I'm drunk, man. Better go home now. Not my real dad. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the bar just because that guy told me to go home. I don't think that's a wonderful life, save the homeland. I thought it was that one. I could be scolded if I went home late. Oh no! Oh, that's right! Once you get married, you actually do need to go home in time, I think. But oh well. Can I not? Okay, I don't think the bar is open on Sundays, actually. Alright, I actually forgot about that. You, you do need to go home. Oh no! Everyone has abandoned me. Huh. I think that- I think I did upset my wife once because of, um... Because of that. I go home now. So yeah, it's not really as big of a deal. I actually got married at just the exact perfect time then. Because I won't really- I shouldn't really need to stay up past midnight anymore. Or past, you know, the time the game clock stops. If she go, she ev they eventually go to bed without you, and that upsets them. It's easy, easy. We just climb right over our wife. It's fine. All right. Now that we got married, is she gonna be mad at us? I wish I had trained a little to be a wife. It's fine. Just do. Here's how you be a wife. You just do whatever the hell you did before. There you go. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a break for a bit now. I'm gonna eat some dinner, and, uh, we'll be back in two hours for Mega Man Sprite Game, which, I'll remind you one final time, looks amazing. I think it's gonna be good. It's, it's, it's the game where you get to do whatever is happening here. Beautiful. Also, we're gonna- we have to tell Twitch that we're playing Mega Man because this game is not in Twitch's list. Your wife's a heavy sleeper if you can climb over her into bed. Yeah, I- We're also very rude, but, uh, oh well. And eventually we're, our kids- Get rid of that. Eventually we'll, we'll get kids to fill the other little beds. It's kind of weird that you just have them at all times, even if you're not married, but whatever. I'm not saying that, that the main character likes to pretend he's a four-year-old and sleep in the kid's bed or anything, but, you know, who knows? It's, you know, it's your house. Do what you want. Man, X-Bone still... X-Bone was our first cow. She is still not grown up. Usually you want to talk to them and then brush them because they won't move that way. I think Eve prefers going to bed without you? Really? Huh. 
It's also messing with Windows Vista. Oh yeah, I guess it is the charity stream for them, isn't it? I think Joel usually destroys a Windows operating system once a year, at least. Alright. I'm off for a couple hours, and then we'll be back for an amazing game where you can get a bad ending because you walked on the grass. They open solitaire and Vista blue screened. That sounds like Vista, all right. Did he install Bonsai Buddy on it yet? All right, I'm out for now. These poor, these, I feel sorry for these weeds. They, their entire lives just get destroyed in winter. All right, that's just that. Eventually this thing will break open. I think, I think we still have to wait for a while for that. But yeah, I'll be off for a bit.